Ah, f Hello and welcome to another episode of Christmas Quickies. On this episode, we're going to take this awesome looking screwdriver, we're going to take the handle off, and we're going to replace it with a screwed one. I'll be making the mould out of some core flute, and I'll make the blank using some art cast. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour a base layer. That way I can let it harden and then put the screws on top. Now if I was to put the screws in this layer, they'd all sink to the bottom and there'd be no way that I could turn it. Now I'm going to pop this in the pressure pot and we'll come back in about 4 hours. While that's in the pot curing, I'm going to go ahead and take this handle off. Originally I was going to smash this off and try and clean up the shaft, but the shaft's only in there about an inch and I think I'm happy to sacrifice that. I'm just going to cut it off here with a hacksaw. So I think the best way to do this is going to be to drop these screws in. Then I'll put the resin over the top, and then I'll be able to move the screws back to the middle. That way we keep them in this central corridor. So now I'm just going to position these screws in the middle. I'll add a few more in there, we'll chuck it back in the pot, and then we'll have our blank ready. So now we've got the screws where we want them. Time to go back in the pot, and we'll check on it later. Get screwed. How good does this look? Now we've just got to demold it and we'll chuck it on the lathe. Ah, oh, screw this. I'm just going to go cut it off. I've now got the blank fixed to the waste block, now I've just got to screw it on. So I don't turn into these screws, I went ahead and drew up this little template, that way I won't screw it up. Well I nearly screwed it up. Where I put the tail stock in, I've put it in pretty tight to stop it wobbling, and it's almost split the two casts in half. So where I did the first pour and the second pour, it started to put a little crack there. So I'm just going to have to go real light now and just finish up this bottom bit. And hopefully we don't make it any worse. That looks pretty good there. I think to avoid any more damage, I'm just going to part off the back a little bit more. Then we'll start sanding. That way we don't create any more stress on this end piece here. You know, someone once asked me, how long do I spend sanding? I've been sanding for about 10 minutes now. It's 10.44, and when I'm all finished, I'll check back again, and we'll see how long it took me. Well, that's 1200 grit finished. That's all the paper sanding I'm gonna do. It's now 11.34, so that's taken me 50 minutes just to get through the paper sanding. So now I'm gonna jump on the micromesh, and we'll get that shine up. You'll see I've got excessive wobble down this end. I just can't risk putting the tailstock back in. I just don't want it splitting any further. I'm gonna wet sand this micro mesh. Well, that's the last micro mesh pad. That was the 12,000 grit. It's now 1211, so I'll do the math. I'll put it down here on the screen. It was definitely well over an hour, so that's how long it takes me to sand. Now I'm just gonna run over it with some Yorkshire grit. If there was one part of this job that I was scared of screwing up, it's definitely this one. I'm going to put a quick pole at the top here. What do you think? Am I going to screw it up? I've got a couple of little chips there, but I think I'll try and sand them out. Other than that, I think we did okay. So you can see there that I got all the chips out. Now the hole is slightly off center. That's not a worry since it is just a screwdriver. And I mean, let's face it, I had to screw it up at some point. 
So now all that's left is to glue the blade in. I've mixed up a small batch of epoxy. I'm just gonna pour that in, drop the blade in, and we'll have ourselves a screwdriver. Well guys, what did you think of the screw screwdriver? I think it turned out bloody awesome. Leave a comment down below if there's something you want me to put in resin. Now let's go screw something. Ah, oh, damn it. 